Heart Earth, here the ear art, is one of the first uh, neo-symbolic paintings done. And uh, it was the first time I saw uh, the juxtapose of the words within words. And uh, here is a um, second painting of Heart Earth Heart where um, I did a more a precise uh, lettering uh, in this painting which is uh, a hallmark of, of the um, neo-symbolic art. Lord Word World um, reflects Genesis where the L of Lord is put into Word and creates world and that's where the Lord spoke the word and created the world in seven days. Heat, wheat, eat also is a reflection of the qualities of the words and how they relate to the uh, specifics of the words. You, you heat the wheat to eat it and it's interesting how they interrelate and that's where this painting came from. This next painting, Agnes's Garden, is more of a decorative painting, uh, painted in the process. This painting, Adam and Eve, is um, uh, an attempt at uh, connecting the uh, Adam with Eve. The the loved be loved is another example of. Uh, the words within words love our other brothers uh, other and brothers really spoke to me in this as a uh, way of uh, expressing uh, love for all of humanity and um, one of the defining principles reaction creation reaction also uh, I think speaks to um, creation of the world that uh, this sort of combines the um, creationist and the uh, evolutionary theories I think in a way that um, is biblical yet scientific that uh, Lord spoke the world and then uh, it, it reacted and uh, created our world as we know it. Many of the uh, neo-symbolic paintings almost seem uh, simple and uh, uh, almost uh, can be dismissed at signs but as you explore deeper into the relationships of words uh, you see how complex this is woven into our visual and auditory uh, history of the mankind and the planet. It's also uh, looking at words which um, looking at them as pictures, as symbols and this is a very different way of looking at uh, uh, what we consider verbal expression.